Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the special operators. First I take the comma operator. This is this symbol is called the comma operator and uh, the comma operator can be used to link the related expression together. I am simply taking here an example and uh, I write here has include studio.h has include conio.h this is the header file for the C and then void main and uh, I am using here the main function uh, this is the main function the starting pointer for the compiler and then opening braces and then closing brace and uh, I am declaring here the variable x comma y and uh, they are data type as a int, int and uh, I write here x comma y I am using here the comma operator to separate the x and y this is the related expression together and uh, in the next line I write here the x equal 20 comma 10 I am write here the two values with the comma separated operator 20 and uh, 10 and assign to the x but the variable x or any variable simply store the value as a single variable single value so the x only store the single value so uh, it take the first value or store the first value 20 into the variable x this is the interview question uh, simply any person write x equal 20 comma 10 comma so many variables and uh, ask the question interviewer what value assign to the x you simply answer the question of that is uh, first value is assigned to the variable and uh, in the next line I write here the using the printf function to print the value of x and uh, when we execute this program the output is 20 so you simply look here this is the comma operator that is come into the category of a special operator and uh, in the next I am using here the another special operator size of operator the size of operator is compile time operator and when used with an operand it returns the number of bytes the operand occupies the operand may be variable comma a uh, constant or a data type qualifier okay means you can directly say that the size of operator simply return the size of any variable constant or data type qualifier I am taking here the simple example and uh, here I am declaring two variable x comma y and assign to the zero value to the x and I write here x equal size of and in the within the bracket I write here the y and uh, the data type of y is int so simply uh, the data size or uh, the size of int is 2 bytes and this size assigned to the variable x and uh, when we print the value of x the output is 2 because the size of int is 2 you can also write here the int directly or float or any value 20 50 the size of that variable or data type qualifier stored into the x and uh, printed the value as a x and the output according to the data type qualifier or constant or variable okay and uh, in this session we discuss about the special operator pointer operators and uh, this is the address and this is the star these two operators are used in the pointer operators and uh, I am simply taking here the example and uh, I am declaring here the variable x and the pointer variable int star ptr this is the declaration of the pointer simply you write the data type 
I'm using here the data type int and then star and then pointer variable name the pointer variable name is in the my case is ptr and uh, the pointer var variable always store the or hold the value of any other variables and uh, uh, in the next line i write here the x as a 20 and 20 value assigned to the x and in the next line i write here ptr equal ampersand x means this is the pointer variable and I am assigning the address of x into the pointer variable ptm and uh, use with the help of this operator ampersand operator and uh, in the next line I am write here the printer function and then percentage d and then comma star ptr when we are using the star with the pointer variable it will print the value of variable x and the value store the x is 20 I am declare I am simply explaining here this is the variable x and the x is store the 20 suppose that the address of x into the memory is 1000 and uh, this is the pointer variable and pointer variable store the address of x means the address of x is 1000 means the as a taking value as a 1000 and the pointer variable also have an address memory address and this is suppose that 1002 address and simply print the output as a 20 we, are, we, we will discuss in the later video session in the details about the pointer variables and uh, their operators in the details okay in the next I am using here the special operator dot and arrow operator as a member selection operator and uh, these member selection operators we are using in the I am taking a example structure variable and uh, structure variable we will discuss in the later video session in the details but I am simply taking a very simple example to demonstrate the dot and operator and arrow operator simply I am using here the struct keyword and uh, where uh, structure variable name as a structure name as a person and then opening press and then here I am closing press and then terminate with the semicolon this is the rule for the structure structure and I declaring a variable int id and uh, this id is called the field and uh, if you want to assign any value to this this field then you need to use the declare the person variable and with the help of dot operator you can access or assign to the value into the id and uh, here i am using the main function then curl opening curly bracket and then closing curly bracket and uh, here i am declaring the structure variable you simply need to write the struct keyword and then uh, structure variable uh, structure name and then structure variable name i am using here the giving the name of structure variable name as a p and with the help of big p we can assign the value to the id with the dot operator p dot id equals to one means one assigned to the id you simply look here the use of dot operator and then print a function to print the value of id so i write here the slash n id equal percentage d i am using here the slash n to print in the next line and id print out to the screen and percentage d as the data type of the id and then comma p dot id and uh, with the help of dot operator and uh, with the uh, structure variable p and id i print the value of id and uh, the output of id is 1 okay thank you friends in this video we discuss about the dot operator and in the later video session we will discuss in the details about member selection operators and uh, Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe my video and uh, my channel. Thanks a lot.